before the video starts, I want to basically let you guys know that Island Camp Volume 2 of the second half of Season 1 is still in the works. I am trying my best to get the episodes uh, being, uh, being made as possible in order for me to get them all edited in the final in the final few days before January 20th. If not on January 20th, then uh, February 10th is when Island Camp Volume 2 starts to pick up the rest of Season 1. So I just wanted to clarify that. And without, without further ado, it is time to reveal myself who I really am. And I know, based on the title, based on the thumbnail, I am now revealing myself, revealing the truth to all of you, who I basically am. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to reveal myself in a simple, self-explanatory, instead of a big, huge history, because it's, it's dumb to basically kind of get it where... Um, to get it where it's not boring, so hopefully that's, that kind of makes sense. So, I know a lot of my friends, even some that that weren't talking to me anymore, including some that were being douchebags to me, and, um, and some of you guys who are brand new to me that has started talking to me don't worry, because you guys are not involved in this. I just wanted to let everybody else who has already known me want to basically let them know what is going on. Especially to you guys who are the fans of the channel that I have been doing, the work that I give out as best as I can. Like Isla Campbell, I just said earlier. Um, so... To explain myself, I am Charles. I am the username of CTBTR. And I am a creator who has the mind of creativity. And um, I have a uh, spectrum disorder called autism. And what it really is, and I have it, my phone with me, is it a serious developmental disorder that impairs the ability to communicate and interact, meaning that the autism spectrum so disorder impacts the nervous system. So what really is, is that I have the effect of being nervous to a lot of things when I was little, back around in, in when I started in school at the school named Dell, and I'm not going to say its actual name. And I had been diagnosed of autism during the time when I was there. And by the way, let you guys know, all you uh, all know, um, I used to be a bad boy back then, especially these these the rest of these years up until this point. Um, to explain what it really means is that if I like let's say not look at the camera and I sort of look around and not. Uh, basically pay attention that's what it really is and I always get nervous with a lot of things again a lot of things like looking at the board at school uh, looking at my mom dad my siblings for that matter including my friends for this case because sometimes including classmates too and sometimes I have the attention to not like want to speak so if anybody has the answer to why I always being quiet, it's because of that. It's because of autism. But not only that, as time goes on, thanks to the teachers that helped me, besides Dell, because they literally removed me when I was in special ed, quote unquote expelled. Um, I have the development of AD, which is called Asperger syndrome. And to be honest, um, it's going to show up on the screen, but I'm going to tell you guys right now. It's a, de a developmental disorder affecting the ability to, to effectively socialize, socialize and communicate. 
It's a syndrome that is a condition onto the autism spectrum that, that has a high function. So, for example, for example, like I'm now looking at the camera a lot better than what I was from before because sometimes I don't want to look at the camera. Sometimes I do want to look at the camera if I wanted to, but now realizing it really helps me to start looking at the camera a lot more, starting to smile and a lot of that stuff. And um, it's very weird that I have Asperger. I'm not really too sure yet because I, I was never diagnosed with it. All I can say from here is that I need to go to a referral doctor to see if I really have Asperger within short so I have no clue what's going to happen next. Um, yeah. So now with this whole entire situation that's been going on evolving around me is that due to what I just said about autism, um, sometimes I have a way where I start to go out of control. And when I used to, when I, when I was going out of control, I went all berserk flipping over a table like that. And I feel like um, a monster to everybody. I feel like a monster to, to the people from the past seeing that. Um, and that was not good. It was definitely not good. And another thing I want to mention is that I used to be bossy when it comes to my autism -ness, you know, and I do see some people do not like the, the way I was being boss, um, being bossing around to the people that I know. Especially the ones that are not talking with me at all. And, um, as time goes on, I started to become a lot better thanks to the teachers that helped me. Especially the one that's within elementary, the, the one I had for four years, named Mrs. Duran. She helped me a lot and learned the way, I learned the ways how to be a lot better, including the other teachers for that matter. And I'm still gonna give them credit, it, even including the ones that I really trust, that I trust, especially the ones that I really like. The fact that they kept me going forward, and I really do that, do like that pretty much. But sometimes there's some friends that I really don't like. As an example, Philip. If you guys don't know who he is, he's the one who, uh, he's the one who who's been in a couple of videos in the past and the last physical appearance he was appeared in the last episode of the breach before cancel cancellation and the reason why I'm not friends with him is because the way he treated one of my homies Ian aka Kyoto if anybody knows who Kyoto is he's a a a, a Friday night funkin uh cover maker not really as a like a creator for that matter, but he is a creator where, you know, just video stuff, you know. But um, I really don't like him now because due to that, and also the situation I was I was I was in within this year, and as and also there's sometimes where I go off on things that I couldn't even control. But now, I now somewhat, kind of somewhat get that a little bit of controlness. And sometimes I can't do a lot of reasons that I can't really full on control. So what ends up happening, what's really end up happening is that there's going to be a lot of concerns. There's going to be a lot of um, negative, angry people going into the comments and or even on a post for that matter, that really is like, wait, why would you do this? Why in the heck you're doing to do this? And it feels like I am the victim of that. I am, or the behind of the whole entire situation uh, that people has been impacted by the ways that I always talk about or things that are not making sense or being bossy, like I mentioned. Or even being nervous when I'm not able to talk. And um, 
it's so sad to me to the point that I don't really want to talk. And it's unfortunate. But I want to let you guys know that is not the case. I still like to talk. It's just that I can't really trust people who who are like... Bot wise, like a, bot, a little bot on social wise, people who is like being a dick pretty much, or an asshole. So that's another reason why. And also, I have the tendency of being of nervousing about the questions I ask or the questions that pops up. You know. Um. I also want to mention this as well is that the what really makes it a, a, a horrible impact is the one video that I made on my girlfriend that was from a couple months ago or that was with, that was within uh, summer and my former girlfriend and there's a reason why that Philip the reason why I don't like Philip in this situation is because because he knows exactly what he's doing and he and he knows that his his friend who is my former girlfriend knows exactly what's going on and which is so bizarre and so stupid and not only that I get brainwashed basically getting manipulated and used and that was I don't know I don't know I don't know what to say about that it's just, it's just stupid and I noticed from that point, Luis, one of my homies, he starts to point that out. And recently, I already talked with him about this right before making this video. He literally mentions that the reason why that uh, one of the other homies, Lucian, didn't like the fact about that video is because it's gone too far to the point where to the, to the point where I can't fix it only way is is that the only way I can self-explanatory is to stop talking with him and that's what I did in this sort of scenario and I don't want to kind of get into his own way so that's why it's so hard within the uh the rebranded video that will be popping up on the screen at the top left that video is where I had a hard time to try to explain and also within the video, I was trying to be happy, and also you guys can definitely have a glimpse, sec a glimpse, a little bit, uh, a little bit of a glimpse on the video on my girlfriend that I, that I, that I, that was used to be on my channel, but it's no longer there. You, there's no way you can watch it ever again. Um, he was pissed about that. And he doesn't want to be in that situation. And that, and that's very fair. And I do respect it about that. But again, it's also hard for me to... To try to control my anger. Because it really hurts me to the fact that it's just... It's overwhelming to me. It's overwhelming. And I'm in the, like, this situation where... A friend and a friend starts talking to each other. They're arguing with each other. And I'm literally just like, what What did I do? Like, what did I do in this situation, you know? And it's as an example, if you guys know from Stranger Things in Season 1, Lucas was like, like saying that Eleven is like you being used by something or used by someone to try to spy on them Dustin, Mike, and Lucas overall and then Mike is trying to defend Eleven with his own back talk on Lucas trying to defend himself as well and then keeps going on and on with two different sides of the story and it was not great that's what's exactly what's happening with um, another friend that's talking with Lucian as well as Jaime into the mix and I feel like I don't even know what to do. Same thing with Luis because he knows exactly what's going on. And I was like, might as well just walk away. And that's exactly I don't want to get into. And I did talk with Michael and Jaime perspective, two different perspectives, and just let them know. Just ignore them. Just ignore them as best as I can. But 
of course that's not going to work because it's going to end up keep going build up to the point where uh we're going to end it going into the war zone like a freaking civil war and that's not exactly what i want and um and yeah so it's not great pretty much so the way i can ex with the way i can say this is that um i I'm also being as a as a victim of all of this of the things that I have done is that I also used to plagiarize based on the profiles that that shown on the on the thumbnail. It's gonna show it again showing the evolution at the very end of the video. It shows, man, I'm shaking right now, dude. Trying to make this video, guys. I'm sorry, but the way how um. The way how my avatar got developed is that I copied and plagiarized a YouTuber that I know is Kevin and he got involved and he's trying to tell me to stop using the copied profile and he told me like yeah I'm not going to try to do that ever again and and that's why I keep changing and changing and changing and, and to the point where it's original. Luis adds the same problem with the storyline that is a concept timeline before Stone Bronzer came to existence. Right now, as well, Stone Bronzer is still in the works. It's in the pre-production, still in that phase until it starts getting into the production. So I don't know when it's going to end up resuming. I have no clue as of right now. But going back to what I was saying is that um, another thing I want to mention is that I always somewhat can be nosy sometimes whenever what's going on but also at the same time i just don't want to get involved the one thing i'll tell you guys one thing i'm gonna say one rant i do not politic do not like politics which it's not a very surprising moment because that's how it is with these situations that i just talked about so So out of all of this, I'm going to say this is that I feel like I have made a lot of mistakes to every single situation, especially with the biggest mistake within this year of 2023. I'm going to rightfully say this and I'm going to really am. Man, I don't know why I'm shaking the, to this point, but. To everybody that has been on the, the journey from 2013 to all the way to now, after 10 years, I want to say this, is that I am very, very, very sorry, and I really want to apologize to everybody that was caught up into the, into the mess that I created. Most. I'll say most, because there's some that are completely idiots, who to the point that makes me try to go on to the negative side to go into the wrong hands. So... I am so sorry for the actions of plagiarism, the actions that I made about my former girlfriend, the action for not talking to the, to the people that I always trying to, you know. I'm also sorry to not try... Another thing I want to say is that I also kind of was a dick to everybody. I am also sorry for that because I feel like I feel like a total loser on that and that is pretty much not me because because I was completely a nobody and I don't know what to say about that and there is examples of youtubers that I have seen especially one recently that is from dream if anybody knows who I'm talking about Dream is a YouTuber, Minecraft YouTuber specifically, and he got backlash with a lot of things that he had created that was gone into the wrong hands, and he finally spoke the truth. It's going to be linked in the description of the video that I'm making right now, and it's very, very interesting to watch because he is mostly right with a lot of things that he said within the video. 
And I kind of like the, the fact that he's standing up about this and, you know. But yet, at the end of the day, it is what it is. And there's another YouTuber that I am currently watching out for. Not watching out for, but watching out for them. And his name is Riot Ride 99. Riot Ride 99, I think. And I have talked about him before, but I just ended up removing that video maybe or it's still up on my channel i'm not too sure but i think it's already deleted but he's a youtuber that i know from very almost towards the very beginning and he's a youtuber that is part of the fnaf community as well as the gmod community and his his problems are the same situations i have and also i want to point this out i have my own insecurities about things that was taken in the wrong hands like what he has done Basically, he was taking himself as too bossy, too negative to everybody that he knows. And a lot of things that he had created are, are still somewhat fun memories that are funny wise. But at the same time, I feel like that his um, reputation, that's what it is. His reputation was lost downfall after 2016 that's where it all began and after seeing that i feel like dang that is probably what the situation i might end up having soon and up until right this, right towards this video so i feel like that that he has gone a lot worse than me because i have seen his previous live streams where he he has had a, a emotional breakdown to the point that um whoops i thought i just hit something um um to the point where he was freaking out his mother was freaking out as well and then a couple months later he made another live stream and doing right now exactly what i'm doing right now is the exact same thing just in the video format apologies for everything he is just a lot more turned of the vents here. Um, another, another, another way I will say this is that after that, he has completely changed ever since last year. That's where it ended pretty much. And then he's just, he's just like, you know what? Let's do a fresh start. And yeah. So to recap all this, I wanted to basically say this is that I do not want to hurt anybody's feelings. I do not want to hurt a lot of people anymore because I don't want people, including my friends, including the ones who aren't talking with me at all, I don't want them to think that I'm still a bad person. Am I still a good person as based on the question? Yes, because I can still try to change. I have done so much that was all negative to the point that I realized that I am always keep on isolating myself. And due to autism, I'm trying to fight, fight it over trying to be more confident, trying to be more, a lot better who I am from this year. And um, as this example that I want to point this out is that Rye Rye 99 or Rye for short, to make it easier, he has posted on the on the his own community tab and what he has put on to it he said that he won't be mentioning or making more of six nights of zany or more of zany gmod because including G -G -G gmod cuz he, he didn't mention that he said that those will never going to be bringing back because of due to a lot of negativity. So what I can address from here is that please do not mention anything that is from my videos or anything that is within the past I have done because I just want to move on from all the negative pain that I have suffered for the last 10 years. And I feel like it feels like it feels like it keeps coming back every single day. And it won't stop. And I realize the fact that in order for me to change is to start to recover a lot more. So I won't be making another update video until 
the very first video of next year, 2024, of Isla Camp, I want to make sure Isla Camp starts to kick off until I start to make another update video and see how this how see how that changes from now until next year. So again, once again, I am very sorry for all of the things that I have done and I wish that I can reverse the issues that I have, but I can't. The only way I could say this is throw it into the graveyard with the Yu-Gi-Oh style way is banish it card Banish the card or whatever you want to do. Just put it into the graveyard and that's all I can say from here. So, yeah. And another thing I want to point this out is that by 31st, by the 31st, my channel is going to get updated once again. Especially with the um, the new outros and, and, and the new intro credits. Those are going to be restarts and I really want to basically restart my channel I realize to what I think about this is that I do not want to restart the entire channel entirely because that's dumb what I can do is that I will just try my best to make a lot of more good videos as best as I can instead of negative videos because I don't want anybody to complain a lot of things that I have done including some things that was taken in the wrong way other than that other than that once again for the last time I am very sorry and I do apologize for everything that I have done and hopefully by next year is a lot better than this year especially the previous years as well and hopefully that 2024 fixes a lot of the problems or not. It just depends. I don't know what's going to happen next. And I'll talk to you guys later. Stay fresh, everybody, and happy new year. Did you ever think you made a mistake hiding the truth from